What is up guys, how are we all doing? Welcome to the stream, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Doing fantastic myself. For Sunday's stream, I just thought about jumping on Euro Truck and just doing a little bit of hauling, you know. After the recent news that we've just uh, that we've just had, it's really sort of like encouraged me a, a, a lot more to get in and get more involved with this game. We are going to be driving the Ford again today. Um, quite a nice truck actually. Um, it is one of the modded ones, um, but I mean overall it doesn't have the the most power. I think it's about 500 horsepower, something like that. Brake horsepower, something like that, and. Uh, it's got longer gears in, in comparison to the Scania, which, you know, it's it's easy to get complacent. It's easy to, you know, use the same trucks over and over again. But the beauty about this game is where all the trucks are so diverse and where you can have all different setups, you know, it definitely makes the game a lot, a lot more enjoyable anyway. But anyway, without further ado... So enough of that rambling, let's jump in and see if we can get ourselves a nice juicy haul for Sunday morning stroke afternoon. Um, I think external contracts will probably be the, the best route to go, I would imagine. Um, not too bad, not too bad, right. Let's have a look. So this truck is not designed for... Um, heavy cargo, so I have to be very careful what I pick. Might be just a standard, standard haul mass, sixteen thousand kilos. Oof. See now, I would love to be able to do one of these. Like that would be absolutely great if I could do that. How's it going, G-Song, mate? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Amazing stuff. I mean, before I go there, I don't know if I can actually put anything... I don't know if my truck would actually carry that. That's the thing. I'll click on it. Oh, it's not that too far of a distance anyway. We'll scrap that one. Um... I think we're just going to jump in and do some some normal container stuff, I think. Remaining three out of... Oh, that's not bad. We go all the way over to Austria. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Begin delivery. But welcome in, guys. Like I say, over the past couple of days of digging around and sieving through a lot of information, um, there is a lot of positive things which are coming. Not to say that, you know, this game isn't as positive as it can be already, but I mean, generally, just, I, I am so over the moon, overwhelmed. Now, I know that it's not for definite, I know it's not 100% that it could come to consoles, but of course, with this information that we've now got, the whole idea is very, very promising. Oh, I just remembered I'm here from last stream. I, I seriously, I don't know what's going on with this. It must be one of the mods that I've got installed. Thankfully, it's just the middle section. I'll have to give it a good old nudge. Not too much, because I need to get that trailer out. But I don't think that I will be uh, picking any more cargo up from uh, <laughs> from this area anyway. Let's see if we can get this all linked up. I, I rarely do this in third person, actually. It's not something which, uh... Not something which I really, uh... Like doing, but right. Let's get that linked up. Right. I think we're all good for that. Let's 
take it nice and easy out of it. I can't see nothing out of that way. Just have to wing it. There we go. Right, so what are we looking like in terms of... Truck looks okay. Fuel is fine. It is getting quite late, but what I'll do is I'll pull into a rest stop when I can and uh, forward the time a bit. Get it out of here, and then we'll get it moving. Another busy, busy roundabout. it then. How's it going Anthony mate? Welcome in. Yeah, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Yeah, it's not been not been too bad, especially with the news that we had. And uh, yeah, G Song, like I say, I really, really want this to happen. I really want it to happen. Like I cannot express it enough how important this is. How important that you know we could potentially see this game come to consoles with the new engine upgrade which they're uh, they're working on now of course it's not a given but we could see compatibility with that and and you know I'll take it do you know what I mean it's it's one of those things where a lot of people go oh well it's not going to ever come to consoles it's not going to do this it's not going to do that and there have been a lot of compelling reasons as to why but generally with this idea of there being an up-spec, upgraded engine, you know, more compatible, um, I wouldn't completely rule it out. You know, I mean, I've been shocked before with games which people have said, you know, it's like Fernbus. Fernbus, you know, it was a long time people wanted it to come to consoles and it's finally happening. You know, so, I mean, with the hardware that we've now got, with the new consoles and stuff it is doable it is doable just not on the current engine at the minute it's all good it's all good it's all positive stuff you know i mean i guess whether we uh whether we sort of take it with a pinch of salt i guess we we kind of have to do that but it doesn't mean to say that we can't get excited about it you know So I mean, I'm I'm more generally excited for for the console community more than anything because it's about time that we get ourselves a nice, decent trucking simulator that works. And and we all know that if it does come to consoles, it will definitely work. I think, in fact, 
and uh, probably a lot of people would uh, disagree with me on this, but I feel that if it ever does come to console, then it's definitely going to be the final nail in the coffin for, for games like On the Road and Truck Driver. As if they didn't need that anyway, you know, the competition, they'll just get blown out of the water completely. Completely. Of course, like we say, it's done on the Prism 3D engine. And it's getting on around 20 years old that is now, so I'm not I'm not surprised that it's not compatible with, with consoles. It definitely makes an awful lot of sense. Uh, but you know, with this with this upspec, you know, engine upgrade, you know, I'm I'm more interested in that than I am in the Unreal Engine 5, to be completely honest. Absolutely mad. Of course, yes, we can, you know, Xbox players, you can play it through GeForce Now, but I think there's some, like, uh, a few compatibility issues. I think that we, I think will support. I don't think it's actually there. So, we want, we want to be able to play it on PlayStation, Xbox, use wheels, use gear shifters, use pedals, use everything. We want to be able to have the full-fledged experience and I do not have a doubt in my mind that SCS would not be able to provide that. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And, and like I say, I was sat there and I was analysing things that was being said. And for a company as reputable as SCS, you know, a developer, they wouldn't dangle the carrot in front of your face if there wasn't some form of truth in it. You know, they, they haven't given in to any sort of rumours and speculation and things like that. You know, this has come from the horse's mouth. You know, so don't rule it out completely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I honestly can't put it into words. If it does materialise, this is going to be absolutely fantastic, not only for their company, but for the console community as well. Because the console community, like we've said before, it needs so much love and attention when it comes to simulation games. Not not so much bussing. As I think bussing, there's plenty of bussing sims uh, on, on console. And we've kind of just come to the, the general idea that the majority of them just don't work properly. You know, it's the same as a lot of the trucking games that are on console at the minute. You know, they just don't, they just don't scratch that itch. You know, you want you want to be immersed. You want to you want to feel the truck. You know, not be pulled to almost a complete crawl when going up a hill. You know, those are the things which you want to completely avoid. Even though I give them the give them the due, you know, on the road they are doing something with their game but I feel that it's a little too late and to be completely honest with you you know the game is just you got to look at it from a perspective you see so if you have the ability to play you know Euro Truck or American Truck games like On the Road and Truck Driver even Snow Runner for that fact probably it doesn't probably mean an awful lot to you the fact that they don't work properly if if you're a PC player of course but if you're a console player, you've got to kind of like accept the fact that this is, those are the only games that we've generally got for console. And it is depressing. It is really depressing. So to hear that news, of course, you know, I first thing I had to do was share it. You know, it's just one of those things that needs to be done. You know, and it, I guess it's not so much speculation because it's got grounds to it now. You know, we've people have speculated in the past about this game coming to console and not coming to console, and it just doesn't get anywhere. But when you actually get some some concrete evidence to suggest that this this game could be compatible with consoles in their new their new upgrade, that's just crazy. Whether we want to believe it or not, you know. I think it's fantastic that the consoles that we really need we really need this to happen. 
We really need it to happen. There is no denying that. Even, even if they don't implement the cross compatibility, you know, like being able to play with PC players and things like that, or Xbox players, you know, even if you're only able to play with the platform that you're on, I don't think it would make much, much difference. I mean, I definitely wouldn't care about that. You know, it's one of those things. All right, let's rest up. We'll catch up with the chat first. SCS will do that as well. Look how old the game is, and they still update it and add new stuff all the time. I've put a good amount of hours in this game on PC, but I prefer console though. Would be awesome, man. Yeah, this is this is it. This is it. You know, they they are they've got a, a very good reputation when it comes to trucking, logistics, all of that sort of stuff. They're very, very good. You know, this game's been going on for 10 years now. Do you know what I mean? It's the, 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 the content which still gets provided and the updates, you know, it's still, it's still a very strong game. And it just puts it into perspective like we've mentioned many, many times before here on the channel. You know, if you put a little bit of time, care and attention into something, you know, you can, as a consumer, as a player, you can you can see that passion. That's the thing. The trucking community is massive, massive, in terms of gaming. So to be able to actually play this on your console, you can only imagine, can't you? You know, it's it's going to be good. I mean, I I, I kind of dissected the information, and what I obtained from it was quite simple. And it was just the general fact that because it's from the developers, and because they have they have mentioned that it could bring console compatibility with their next engine upgrade. From that information alone. Despite what people may think, and despite how old the game engine is, the, the fact that they they have the ability and the the motivation and the passion to actually do something like that, because this game is pretty solid as it is, you know, they don't really need to upgrade anything to be honest. But it's the motivation that is behind them, which I really appreciate, and, and respectively, when it comes from SCS, like if they was to bring out a uh, Euro Truck Three you buy it in a heartbeat, you know, you don't have to question this developer, they, they're they informative, they keep us up to date with everything that they do, you know, and the updates, like you say, just keep coming and coming and coming, for a game that's been in development for over 10 years now, and to, to receive that juicy little bit of information, kind of gives you that sort of light at the end of the tunnel, you know, it's amazing. I'm a bit sceptical, I'm, you know, I'm a bit 50-50, you know, but I'm not going to completely rule it out. And I don't think you, you guys, you know, fellow console players as well, I don't think you guys should rule it out either. You know, at the end of the day, for console, I spent an awful lot, a lot of time playing uh, on, on, on consoles, you know, and I, I appreciate the, the, the general frustration. But to see... But to see things actually being improved upon and worked upon, you know, with the with the potential that it holds, it's going to be a very very interesting couple of years, I think, for gaming in general. You know, it's madness. Jesus, some read. So we say, just have to. Uh, if I put cruise control on a minute. Still don't understand how TBS is not working, especially for luggage on Xbox. I mean, fix it on PS5 months ago, and they're not able to do it on Xbox. 
it's not like they can't do it and make it work for a console. They'd have to carry over the DLC to be test three. I'm not buying. Yeah, that's it. Well, G-Song, like I say, the reason why I haven't made any more um, made any more tourist bus videos is just for that reason alone. There's only so much that you can actually say and do about the game um, before things start to actually start, you know, to annoy you. Uh, to annoy me in, as an individual you know, I don't find it enjoyable to play anymore because it's just taking so long for him to sort it out that's the that's the the harsh reality of it it's just the fact that they don't do things in a timely manner and you know for the prices that they charge and for the things that they expect from the consumer it's definitely not reassuring you know especially coming from the likes of Fabian you know it's just doesn't restore much confidence in the player at least it doesn't me anyway oh I'm reading the chat I'm all over the road and yeah Anthony I, like I say I don't know whether it's Anthony or Anthony I do apologize if I'm but but like I said before you know with the new hardware that's come that, that we've got PlayStation, Xbox Series, you know, these things are more than capable of, of running this, 100%, 100%. Marketably, where there's such a big gap in the market for consoles in terms of simulation games, and, and to be fair, there are more on PC, but still, there could be room for improvement, just like anything. But generally, for consoles, it definitely does need a lot of love. And like you say, there is no reason why uh, it couldn't happen. It's just the engine compatibility. That's that's literally it. That's all that's holding them back. It's just that compatibility. But I definitely agree with you, Munchies. Yeah, they, it, they would have to definitely carry over the DLC uh, in order for that to happen. 100%. I don't think I'd buy the DLCs again, but although I've bought all of mine on, on sale, and, and I don't regret doing that, not whatsoever. In fact, I wish there was more to buy. You know, this game is so enjoyable to play that you can spend hours, anybody that's come from console and they jumped on the bandwagon when it comes to PC and stuff, for me it was... I, I was very bitter towards the end when it came to it because I always watched people playing on the PC. I always watched, you know, people playing the games that I wanted to play, and and it, I kind of got a bit bitter with it, you know, like oh, I don't want to hear it because I don't, I didn't have a gaming PC at the time, and I'm I'm not ashamed to admit that. You know, there's a lot of bias that comes from it, but you know, for me. If I'm completely honest, if I had the option to go back, I don't think I ever would. And it's games like Euro Truck that have done this to me. Now, to say that if they do, so say, say for instance that they do upgrade well I know that they're upgrading their engine but if it does bring this console compatibility I wonder what sort of experience that you'd get because I mean of course it probably wouldn't be um, too much like the console uh, the PC version in terms of like button assignment and layouts because there are a lot of key bindings for this game and I mean a lot you know you'd run out of buttons on the controller just just for in the cab you know so I don't know it'd be very interesting to see very interesting to get your hands on it you know yeah I mean it is two two different developers Anthony but I mean, I'm sure you already know that, but, you know, 
the, the direct comparison that I keep being asked, funny enough you mentioned Fernbus, is is the European version, European map provided by Fernbus better than Euro Truck? And all I can do in that situation is laugh. The, the, the Europe in Euro Truck is far, far cleaner in terms of detail than Fern Bus will ever be. Now you've got, yeah, you've got maybe a, a, a more committed developer, but at the end of the day, there's no reason why TML can't do something similar. If they weren't so cheap and cash grabby, then maybe they would get somewhere with their 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 reputation and their business in terms of developing games. But th I think the truth of the matter is is that we all know how crafty they are, and we all know their intentions. You know, so it's if you're willing to to pay that for for a busing game, which generally doesn't look good enough in my opinion, um, then that's entirely up to you. Got my truck now, I'm ready for Trucker MP. Nice one, nice one Munchies, like I say man. Um, because I know that we're in different time zones, I think that would be the, the, the difficult part. But, you know, we can definitely work around, uh, work, work, work something out. You just have to let me know uh, down in the uh, down in the Discord um, when you're free, basically. I'll try and get something going, and that's the same for anybody else. Like I say, the Discord um, is there if anybody wants to use it. If anybody wants to actually join in as well with a bit of Euro Truck, you're more than welcome to. Right, I think I'm going to pull up in here a minute and get this darkness out of the way. It's what I'm doing now. As much as I... off stream I'll drive through the night, but during, during a stream I'd like to keep it daytime. Should we drive a little bit into the morning? I mean, it's 20 to 4 in the morning. I'm not too sure what time the sun comes up, but... Screw it, we'll do it. We'll drive a little bit during the, uh... In the day, right. We've got my wipers on. Lower my window a minute. It's the only downside. Got, like, under your window... So you can see through your w on your wind mirror. <laughs> right, anyway. Let's get moving. How's it going, Omar? Welcome in, man. It's going to be a little bit dark for a moment, but it won't matter because the sun will be up soon. Yeah, that's it, munchies. It is about around lunchtime for me, yeah. That's it, man thing is though the weekends aren't too bad I think that would probably be where uh, the majority of people would, would would be up for coming in and, and you know doing some convoy stuff so it'd probably be on the weekend which works out for me as well to be honest I wonder as well, for the console side of it, I wonder how they would they how they would get a, around with the uh, the modding capabilities. 
I wonder how they would implement that if they were to obviously implement it at all. But there's no reason for why they couldn't. I mean, I would compare it to probably something like SnowRunner in a way. You know, you get like a, I don't know, like a maximum storage space for mods that you can install. And then uh, you just download it, I suppose. Wouldn't be a bad way of doing it. Fences. Not paying attention. You see how intelligent that is? That lorry behind me, or if it's a coach or something, it like waited because it didn't it knew that it couldn't get through that gap. If you was to be doing that on something like on the road or tourist bus, you'd be you'd be sent to orbit. They just smash into you. No ducks given, you know. Hopefully PlayStation DLC limit won't affect it like it does on... This is it. I mean, getting the game to work is is a challenge in itself. But of course, trying to get everything else to work at the same time is going to be a bit of a headache. Like I say, it's maybe maybe they, they've been in, in the game for so long, they, they already know how they're going to do it. You never know. some of these developers are very very clever a lot cleverer than what you know most of us are in terms of knowledge of how things are sort of operate and how things work Just like anything, I think that there's 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 always bound to be some form of limitation because of storage, you know. And and every game that we see, you know, Train Sim World 3, you know, we see uh, Farming Sim 22, Snow Runner. They they all on consoles. They all run into the same issues of of storage, you know. And unfortunately, it can be a little bit of a, uh, a crippling crippling effect but you know just to be able to actually play the game in general on the console you know would make the difference wouldn't it mods or no mods and you'd just be happy for the fact that it you know it would be there rather than uh, rather than not That sun comes up soon. But I have to remember to service my trucks as well. That's something that I've been very complacent with. You do so many miles and then you forget the, 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 the most obvious things to do, you know.
also got to be very like say for instance that sat nav in the bottom right hand corner even though it looks ugly and most people like you know they just like taking it away like this and just reading off of the sat navs that you have on your on, on your dash and on your wind windscreen but there is there is benefits to having that little corner gps on and it's usually for road markings having to change lanes the amount of times that I've not read that road marking and it's sent me on a, a like you know a detour crazy and three four hundred miles onto your trip not enjoyable <laughs> Noticed last night that Italy is filthy on here. Tons of trash. Yeah, I've noticed that um, starting off today. There's loads of uh, trash bags, rubbish bags on the side of the road. But it's little details like that, isn't it? It's so cool. But, like I say, in the next stream that I do for this, um, I will try out a different truck. We can, uh, we can upgrade it, customise it together, and potentially a, like a trailer or something as well. That is the plan, anyway. There we are. get that sense of weight. You can definitely tell the truck was struggling then. Five hundred and forty five miles to go, not bad. Plenty of fuel. Thirteen hours to do it. Let's hope that we can do it. Imagine daylight will be upon us. taking that gorgeous scenery. I do need to play a bit more of American truck as well. I think the only DLC that I don't actually own for uh, for um, American truck is the Texas one at the moment. Love the sound of those air brakes. that road up ahead like you've really got to pay attention to this game as soon as you start seeing their brake lights come on whoa that was a bit sudden oh changed his mind <laughs> fair enough got 
the E tier stuff on here, but I'm missing the newest only in Spain, Portugal, I think it is. Yeah, you'll you'll probably be able to pick those up on a on a sale anyway, munchies, man. I would imagine so. But the like I say, the DLCs are definitely worth it. Even even if you don't own a PC and you in you know you plan on getting one in the future, I would highly recommend buying the DLCs in advance. So even though you won't be able to play it, obviously, when you do get a PC, you you know you'll you'll have a backlog of cheap DLC that you've bought, which is you know something that quite a lot of people do here already, but. Just get it when it's cheap. And all the DLC packs are worth it. All the regions, all the new added extra, you know, countries and stuff like that. You know, it's all worth buying because all that does is just... It increases the, your, your driving distances, essentially. And, of course, being able to deliver different cargo, different parts of the world, you know, it's it's good. so many tolls. That's what I did with ATS, picked them all up before I had a PC. Yeah, it's definitely beneficial in the long run, that's for sure. Even though, like, £15 for a DLC or $15, whatever, you know, your, your local equivalent is, um, I think £15 for their maps, their DLCs, are worth it anyway. But of course, because of how regular they chuck their, their DLCs on sale, um, you are better off waiting for a sale. Because you'll kick yourself if you don't. Or at least, I know a few people that have done that. those little road markings there, those little green arrows which essentially tell you to switch lanes. But if you're not paying attention like I wasn't just then, then uh, it's very very easy to, you know, be sent on the runaround. Yeah, I mean, typically, yeah, one by one, you know, you would buy it, you would buy them individually. But for me, uh, for for this, they do a, um, uh, like a map booster pack, which you get discounted with, you know, and it adds a lot of the DLCs in it already. So, you know, it's it just depends, doesn't it? daylight. Amazing. But in general, like I say with the video that I that I released last night about the game potentially coming to the console side of things, you know, I think if it does, then it's going to be amazing. But if it doesn't, at least though that we know that the potential is there. You know, the promising is there. And that's, that's what we need to, to, to focus on more than anything. You know, it may not come in a timely manner because, of course, you know, they didn't mention anything about potential release dates or anything like that. 
you know, it was just the idea you know, of it coming to life. And, you know, I'll take that. <laughs> you know, I'll take it. It just means that we are one step closer to it actually happening. And I don't know about you guys, but I find that really exciting stuff. Really exciting stuff. Because I want everybody to be able to experience this game. I want everyone to be able to, to actually have a go and see, in a sense, what you're missing out on. But at the same time, what you've also got to look forward to. You know, that is, that is something that I want everybody to experience. Somebody did mention um, in the uh, in the comments on one of my videos not so long ago that you know they they hate to say it but with the state of like some of the the console simulators that are out at the moment you've got to kind of just accept it for what it is and it is a real shame you know for the likes of you know um, for the likes of things like truck driver and on the road almost being the best that you've got at the minute you know it's 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 a hard one to kind of gauge with you know because I do sympathize being a obviously a console player myself but I mean it's in the back of my mind those games just aren't worth it the moment that you get your hands on something like this it's you just stop thinking about those things you know How's it going, Mr. Water? Welcome in, man. I'm doing uh, doing pretty well. Hope you're doing well yourself. But of course, we've got the Australian truck sim and stuff like that. There is there is so much, so much coming that, like I say, it's going to be a fantastic couple of years. For, for gaming in general, simulation, I think that a lot more developers need to kind of take advantage of the, the open market, the space, uh, or should I say a, a reputable developer, one that's got experience and puts a bit of passion into the things that they do, rather than, uh, you know, oh well, if it works, we'll just leave it sort of attitude, you know. Nice one, man. Nice one. You know, like a company that if you ask them for will support, they give you it. Not, oh, look, here's a radio. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not helpful, is it, really? You see that truck up there? That's a very, very risky move there, though. Overtaking on a hill and on a blind corner. It's a good one, isn't it? Oh, wow, look. Should give him a little nudge. That must be a heavy container. watch him now, he'll go downhill when he can't stop. Yeah, that's it, Munchies, that's it, man. But this game, like I say, is a, a is much more enjoyable with the steering wheel, you know, and, and I think that's something that a lot of people will figure out later down the line. But, I mean, you know, it may be obvious that, you know, it'd be better with a steering wheel, but in terms of controller as well, it's not too bad with the controller. Mouse and keyboard, mm, I would uh, I would avoid doing that. The controls are like not smooth. Like if you go left, you're going left, you know. We 
need to get some proper mileage in now. But how are we all doing anyway? What are we all up to? if I can, uh, like I say, in future stream, I'll look and see if I can get myself a, a new truck we customise it together we will buy a trailer together and we'll just try and give it a go because I'm yet to do that properly That cruise control is a lifesaver. Give your foot a rest. Thing for me, maybe go down to the pool later. <laughs> nice one, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be get, like I say, doing this stream. I I am planning on doing a stream uh, a little bit later on today as well. Um, but we will see. I'm not too sure as to what I'm gonna do yet, but I need to get some form of schedule in. You know, things. Uh, home life has been, you know, it's been a little bit complicated and uh, I haven't been able to stream as much as I you know, would ideally like to but of course life comes first doesn't it Some of these interior mods are absolutely hilarious. The things that you can put inside your cab. Ah, uh, nice one, Mr. Water. Nice one, ma'am. This is these windy roads. Amazing stuff. The graphics in this game are absolutely phenomenal. Oh, got old Beamer. Yeah, yeah, munchies. Yeah, just tucked away. Oh, G song, absolutely, man. I do, I do. Sometimes there, I, I mean, 
sometimes when it comes to gaming in general, like, I don't always want to stream it. You know, that is the, the reality of it, you know, like, I would stream it as much as I, you know, as much as I could, but, you know, sometimes it is just nice to play this game, take your time, kind of focus on the driving itself. But I do, I play it for hours. In fact, there's not enough hours in the day for it. <laughs> and truckers MP as well. You know, that's that's another subject. You know, um, I'm not too sure. What, you guys will have to let me know what you f how you feel about it, or as to whether you prefer the base game or you prefer the truckers truckers MP side of it. Or maybe you just don't mind. I'll just balance it, balance them both up. It is nice to see fellow truckers out there on the road. day for a bit of trucking. I've got a cat down there as well. A can of coke. I've even got the little LED Budweiser um, sign on the front as well. A little swingy swingy. Look at this scenery. Let's see where I am a minute. Uh, Ains has a 60 grand job, it's not too bad. Delivering salmon fillets. Nice. Damage 3%. See, this is all the information that you can give. You can also press I as well. If you look in the centre of the dash, it changes a few things, but I cannot read any of that, to be honest. Oh, what have we got going on? Oh! That's what I mean about paying attention. using the base game yeah pro mods yeah I mean that's its own own thing in itself isn't it you need a CB radio with overly stiff core dangling down <laughs> yeah make it a bit more immersive eh <coughs> excuse me you know I, I, I absolutely want one of those cabs like an actual cab you know, I've seen a few people make them, you know. It would be, be really, really cool to be able to just sit in a cab and and have all your, you know, your button boxes and everything. Maybe one day. Maybe one day.
playing a little bit of Need for Speed Underground 2. Thought I'd uh, go back. I've got Riders of the Storm stuck in my head. Can't seem to shift it. Actually doing my own head in now. <laughs> But I feel that, um, like, I wish YouTube would allow you to, to play me. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I, I find, like, a, um, like, a bit of background music that I'm not going to get a copyright strike for, you know, and, uh, just have it gently sort of playing in the background. I think that would, uh, sort of help the streams a little bit. build it in the dining room yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll even use the wood off of the dining room table to make it oh you can imagine I hope she's not watching the stream what are we on 230 class gone oh Whoops. <laughs> There's a coach there. 231 miles to go. It's not been a bad drive. I mean, up until that point. busy reading the chat. <laughs> Lots of surround sound and bass woofers, yeah. That's it. Just build I'll just build the uh, the interior walls completely out of sound bars. I'll do it. Like I say, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed the drive. I, I, I've definitely enjoyed it, and I've definitely enjoyed you guys coming in. It's massively appreciated, honestly. You guys are the ones that make the streams at the end of the day. You know, without you guys, it wouldn't happen so much, you know. So, a big, big thank you to you all. And, of course, welcome to all the new subscribers as well. No. Of course, you all know how it is by now. No. I will provide the Discord link if anybody wants to join. You know, you're more than welcome to. You know, maybe you uh, you want to find some like-minded people that play similar games to you. That's what it's all about. It's about building a community. That was the whole point of starting the channel. You know, to build the community to get a few people jumping in, chatting. It's all positive stuff, you know? do for you guys actually anybody that is interested I'll just pop the discord link in the chat so if you want to join you feel free yeah so TikTok I do I do stream on TikTok quite a bit and the only reason why I do that is just because it's a little bit more relaxed in comparison to uh, YouTube you know you can say things you can listen to music as well you know so there are benefits, but there are cons to it at the same time. You 
getting some sort of a different community you know you get a different different vibe a different feel because you can you can include the things which you can't necessarily include uh, with uh, you know YouTube which is a shame of roadworks today. Absolutely love it. I wish that you know, um, you know, like on the road would take a leaf out of you know SCS's book a little bit. You know, when it comes to trucking simulation, simulation and stuff like that, logistic stuff. Because on the road still has the potential to be a relatively decent game, but I mean, there it needs a lot of work. You know what I mean? It like we all know it needs a lot of work. To even remotely be a competitor anyway, you know, it, it needs a lot of work. Yeah, no worries, Mr. Water. Like I say, you know, TikTok isn't for everyone. You know, not everyone can get there, and that's understandable. But, you know, it's, it's, it's advertising, isn't it? You know, it's reaching out to, to different people, different audience. Because it's so casual and so laid back, like I don't have to sort of like clock watch, you know, I can pause and do what I want, come back when I want, because I'm not, because it's not going anywhere, do you know what I mean? It's just a live video, really. I do appreciate your support, honestly. I mean, at the end of the day, it is just watching somebody drive a truck. But, you know, you, t you guys take time out of your days to... Uh, to sit here and watch you know and I can't thank you enough for it honestly there will be this is another thing as well there will be a giveaway coming up towards the end of the month um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet but there, there is something in the pipeline I do have a few ideas so of course stick around for that guys that's my way of kind of giving back to you you know Coming down to the last 100 mile stretch. I swear that beamer has been following me. But it'd be nice, we'll get out in a different truck. You know, we'll have a little dabble around with what's about. And we'll go from there.
these, these, this last 100 mile is going to go so fast. Oh, she's got overtaken by a coach. I don't. I, I think these coach drivers are drunk, you know. They can't make up their minds. They change lanes and then change back. It's the second one I've seen do that. do I need to service the truck for the damage that I've occurred. We'll go from there. Perfect timing as well actually because it's just gone five in the evening so the sun will be going down. Hopefully it's not in the last sort of like you know <laughs> 90 miles, but... Gotta go buy baby formula. <laughs> wow. To be honest with you, I completely forgot that she was even in the cab. When when I was streaming it the other day, I, I turned around and I saw a pair of feet and I, I panicked for a little bit. I didn't know what was going on. Got a bit of a yellow knee though. That cat as well on the chair, it don't wake up. I haven't fed it in a little while, so I don't know what's going on. Just all it wants to do is sleep. I can't say I blame it. I feel that way most days. All I want to do is just sleep. <laughs> oh. Naughty, naughty. change the view up. Let's have a look. Really nice looking truck this. I really like the uh, the the uh, white wall tire uh, tire writing. Partners unlimited. I think I've even got my little beacons up at the top as well. There are some crazy mods for, for beacons, mind, but I don't really look into it too much. I've had a couple before where it's just been so obnoxious. to go. Like I say, if you've got any truck requests, any trucks that you actually want to see, just let us know. You know, I'm more than happy to buy buy a few and dabble about with them, you know. Yeah, it's, it's so nice, you know. Uh, I mean... You don't really re realise how many options there are in terms of accessories when it actually comes to customising these trucks. And because the mods are there too, <coughs> it definitely sort of expands that, doesn't it? You know, it widens the arsenal a little bit. <laughs> Not the arsenal. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, but the back
balance of everything, the stuff that's involved, you know, the things that are included in this game, the potential that it has even to this day, and of course the news that we've had with this new engine that's being built and, you know, potential console compatibility, you know, I think things can't look any better at the moment, can they? You know, it's excellent stuff. And I'm extremely excited to uh, to actually see this materialise. But of course, guys, you know, if you do want to keep up to date with uh, with all the news and stuff, and you are new here, you know, consider liking, subscribing, turning that bell notification on. You know, that way you don't miss out on the news or, or future streams and stuff like that. And of course. You know, the Discord as well is, is an option there too. You know, we can go in there, converse, share pictures, gaming setups, rig setups, you know, hunting, fishing, trains, planes, you name it. You know, we've we've got a tab in there for, for pretty much everything at the moment, I think, when it comes to simulation stuff. Just consider popping in and saying hello, you know. It's best place to put news as well, you know, for anything. It's, it's it saves having to wait for um, you know like an upcoming stream or something like that to to get that information you know it's a nice place just to sit and chat with like-minded people it's great stuff has been pulled over as well. Round and around we go by the look of it. say those hundred miles went real quick right start paying a bit more attention now because I need to see where they want me to drop it I think I've been down here before actually Break on. No.
not bad. We did occur a little bit of damage along the way, but I don't think it's too bad. We made it on time. So there's that. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But yeah, guys, like I say, I really appreciate you all coming in. I hope that you enjoyed the stream. You know, if you are interested in, you know, joining in and, you know, doing a few convoys and stuff like that, join the Discord, you know, and we can sort something out. But I do hope that you enjoyed the stream. If you do want to keep up to, up to date with all the Euro Truck Sim 2 news and American Truck news as well, then uh, consider subscribing. But yeah, guys, like I say, you know, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, but until next time, you all take it easy, you all stay safe, and hopefully I catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys.